Another huge benefit of softening your water is the amount of, of lather and s the, the distance that soap will go, um, creating cleaning power. I've taken these two containers, I've put uh, tap water in one and purified water in the other. I'm just going to add 10 drops of this soap to each one of these containers. The difference between hard water and soft water, uh, the soap consumption that you'll use in your home is substantial. You'll use about half the amount of soap to get the same effect, if not a better effect, in soft water versus hard water. So if we take these two containers and we swirl those around, and this is basically like a miniature laundry machine, if you will. First cycle of our laundry swirls our clothing around. You'll notice that this container clouds up or turns gray, and this container does not. The reason for that is all of this garbage that's in your water, it reaches up and it grabs those soaps and cleaners and it wastes your time and your money every time you use your water for anything. If we then take and go to that second cycle of our laundry, we have to use our imaginations a little bit because these are very small laundry machines. But if we go to the second cycle of our laundry, it pretty much shakes our clothing up or agitates it, right? And notice the difference in the amount of suds that we get there. The good soft water, very, very high concentrate of suds representing cleaning power. And the hard water pretty much gives us no results at all. If we take those same 10 drops, we get either very lousy effects or great effects depending on the quality of our water.